What is going on? Welcome back to another video. So I'm actually doing the intro at the end of the session because, well, plans just happen to change. So I, I doing a bit of trout fishing, but the rivers are crystal clear and really, really low. Um, so realistically, we had to just change our whole style of how we were fishing. Um, we had to change our leaders to I think it was 1.7 pounds, uh, 0, 10 mil. And once we changed everything up, the difference it made, straight away I started catching fish, started getting lots more bites. Originally I was fishing with 3 pound leader and uh, like two bites in an hour. It was really, really slow, really bad. And the reason I'm back out doing a bit of trout fishing was I was just looking through the videos and realised that we're actually coming up on our two year anniversary of Cast North Anglin. So, Thank you for everybody that has been along with the journey so far and that has subscribed and of course the, the members of the, the private group as well. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, so seen that, seen my very first video that I ever done where I was talking on was doing a bit of trout fishing. Got the urge to get out. So yeah, thanks for tuning in as always. Stay tuned and hopefully we get a few fish. Straight away, before I even get in here, I can see fish rising. But it's just an awkward spot. Can't believe even with all that rain that we've had, still hardly any water in the river. It did. Half expected to be a good bit higher than that. I'm thinking I need to maybe switch it on to a... Oh, something had to go with that twice. There we go. <laughs> Oh, he's off. <laughs> so because these are so much softer than your standard bait, you almost, you let the fish take it and give it a split second before setting the hook. Now, if I was obviously closer to the water, I more than likely would have landed that, but Forcing up the case. It's quite a popular spot for dog walkers and things like that, so constantly having to look around me to make sure that I'm not talking away to myself. Or at least people think about I'm talking away to myself. Okay, so there's loads and loads and loads of fish here and I well I just can't get a bite. So I've had to change things up and adapt. So what I've done is we're on to a really, really, really light presentation now. So as you can see, this isn't a jig head. So it's a hook that's wrapped in like a lead type material. So I think this is coming in at about a 0.4 or 0.5 of a gram, which will make a huge, huge difference. And I've also switched on to 1.7 pound liter, which is 0.15 millimeter. So that's a huge drop from what it was using there. You can't even see it, it's that fine. Because the water's so clear, I feel that we need to adjust and and try and adapt it to get a fish. Um, I'm also going to switch on to a smaller, smaller bait as well. But I'm going to double it up. So these prime baits come all built like this. So I'm going to break two off. Same again, just thread it down through them. Right, so first cast with the updated tackle. And you can see, make sure nothing's stuck, good to go. I've never actually used these hooks before, so it's the first time I've I got them made for me. And they cast fine, good stuff. There they are, getting bites straight away. Now, 
As I was sitting chains not all over, I could see the amount of fish that was jumping about. It was just mental, they're everywhere around here. So, lack of fish is not an excuse. Ah, oh. <laughs> bites, there's two casts in a row, two bites. Obviously now with the lighter hook, it's sinking so, so much slower. And with the, the lighter um, leader as well, then obviously everything is uh, a lot less visible. And as you, can, as you can see, it's working straight away. Then, by time. Such a gentle take. Bottomless hook. Covered in leeches, that one. Thank you for playing. But, has proved the tactic. I'm definitely getting a lot more bites from we move things shallow when we switched on to a much lighter leader. It hasn't set the world on fire but we're getting a hell of a lot more bites than what what it was previous. Jumping right in there. Oh, I just lost one. So I definitely think this is the method. Much slower, much more invisible. Same as a tree has failed there that I've never seen before. Seems that I get bites quite quickly when I move in the when I move that's a good fish. Oh whoa 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 wasn't really paying attention there. That's a good fish. Yeah, good for in here. But what I was gonna say was I seem to get bites as soon as I move into a new spot. But if you miss it or miss your first couple of bites, then you've no chance. They just they, they disappear. And this was a brand new spot, first cast. Get down a bit lower. This is when I really would have needed my net, unfortunately. A bit of damage on his back, something's had a go at him. Or something, maybe on a damage on his back. How do we get him back? Not stressing out too much. It's crazy how much the place changes from year to year. New trees, different trees falling. Ah, I just missed one. He took it again, he took it twice. <laughs> what a frantic hit that was. There you go, fish number three. And he's completely destroyed my, my bait. So I'll have to change that up. A dirty one under the tree. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, I called it. It just felt like that was going to get something. Right under the tree where almost impossible to cast under. And that's a stunning fish.
and he fell off. <laughs> well, he didn't want to get his picture taken, but he was in my hand, so he definitely counts. One more just under that tree again, and then we'll go on to the next spot. A wee sneaky one down the side. Ah, I just missed one. He's gonna take that three times. He hit it once, hit the tail of it. Ah, oh, no, it's a terrible cat. He hit the tail and then he chased it in twice. So he's hungry, he's looking a bit of honeyworm. Come on, come on, come on, there he is, tell you. <laughs> oh no. Oh. oh. That was awesome to watch. Not a chance he would take that again, but that was good. Enjoyed that. Starting to move into a bit of faster water now. Interesting to see how the the really light jig head works now. Still will get down. Still will get down. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, still will get down just really slowly. But it's gonna look super natural in that fast water. So I can see it going down on its own. It's just up to me to keep my eye on it and watch for and he tried nailing it, just like you saw. Oh, there's flash behind it. So there's a tree that has fell, fallen right across the river. And it's created this big deep pool. Now this is one of my favorite spots anyway. But now there's a big, big deep pool, which is obviously gonna hold a lot more fish. Well, in theory you would think that, but I haven't got a bite yet. used to have a really nice tree that just sat overhanging. You used to let your let your bait just sort of drift underneath it. Bit sad in a way too. Okay. Gonna call it quits there. Um, super hard session, but that's what you're gonna get whenever the river's clear like that. We adapted and adjusted and changed the changed the tactics and, and it worked. Um, thankfully then we did start to get a few fish and get a lot more bites. Um, but look, for anybody that's watching out there that's, you know, into trout fishing or looking to get into trout fishing, certainly always have, you know, a range of different leaders and hooks and weights and have a, a selection of stuff because you've seen there today that if you do chop and chains and find out what the what is working and what they want, you will get bites. The fish will always bite. Um, but yeah, as usual, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.